Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the dragon fruit, defeat a sea beast using the dragon form, and reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the actors slam on the dancing forward, there's your slam, there's the dump! You agree that dragon fruit is one of the hardest fruits to grind. It needs lots of masteries to unlock skills, but don't worry guys, I got you. So first off, we got the heat wave, the Z skill, the dragon fruit. At first you need, uh, I think, three hits to defeat a bandit, which is not bad. It gets easier when you level up because you put some stats on the blast fruits, which increases the damage of your heat wave beam. We're gonna grind here until level 15, making our stats nearly 10, blast fruits, 34 okay so why melee guys we're gonna use that on the next island the fountain city so guys at first you're gonna use m1 to damage the galley pirate don't worry you won't get damaged and use heat wave beam to last hit the enemy if done correctly you will get lots of levels and mastery so i'm gonna show it to you there you go continue doing this until you reach level 55 once you reach that level, wait, let's do some stat check again. 20 melee defense, block fruits 1 to 5. Next up, pirate village. Next target here is Bobby, the boss. So you're gonna do server hop here. And for the technique, guys, just dodge his range attacks every time your Z skill is on cooldown. So it's very easy to dodge, don't worry. The only enemy here, the bounty hunters. <laughs> guys, this early in the game, there can be bullies. Check this one out. Boom. But it's fine guys, just don't mind them, just keep on grinding. Target here is level 75. Okay, checking our stats again. Nearly 20, defense 20, block fruits 185. Next up is the desert. So here we will go straight to the desert officers. Technique is lure plus look for a high ground. And that's it guys. These mobs don't have range attacks which makes it easier for us to grind and take advantage of these houses. Target level is level 90. Okay, and at this time, we will unlock our flight, the dragon flight. There you go, at mastery 75. Now, traveling gets easier. Next island is the frozen village. Head to the cave and buy everything the ability teacher sells, the sky jump, the enhancement, and the flash tap. For the grinding part, we will grind the snow bandits. Guys, technique the same with the desert officers, high ground, Z skill, and that's it. Okay, we will keep grinding here until level 105. And after that, Yeti is our target, the mini boss in this island. And for the technique, just lure him somewhere where you can have the advantage. The high ground, there you go, just keep on doing this and everything will be easy. Do server hop until level 130. And for the stats, don't worry, we're gonna check it. 50 melee defense, block fruits, 290. Next up, Marine Fortress. Target is the Vice Admiral. Strategy is hit and run, same with Bobby the Clown. Just keep dashing every time your skill is on cooldown. There you go. Use your skills and repeat. Guys, don't worry. You will unlock your X skill here, the Dragonic Claw. I'm gonna show it to you. The damage is really good, but it is only single target. We're going to do server hop here until level 220. You guys notice that we already bought the black cape for the stats 100 melee defense, block fruits 460. Next up is the prison. So we have three bosses here. First is the warden. Obviously, we're gonna do wall strat. Take note of using the X skill. This might happen. Grinding may be slower, but you will have higher damage. Really depends to you. If you use the X skill, other players may also be here just to disturb you. I don't know why. Guys, this player's target is Chief Warden. I don't know why he's attacking the Warden. <laughs> but it's okay if at he attacks our target as long as we inflict enough damage. We will still get experience. So check this out. He's attacking the Chief Warden. Check this out. He also died. <laughs> so again, guys, Chief Warden at 230. And also Swan at 240. So guys, we're gonna keep on grinding here. Server hop until you reach level 350. Just focus even though there are other players or bounty hunters around. 
I go 350 here are the stats, 150 melee defense, blocked for 750. Next up is the Magma Village. Target here is the Magma Admiral. So guys, you're just gonna dodge this skill, and that's it. Same with the Vice Admiral strat, or if you remember, the Boggy or Bobby strat, okay? So we're gonna server hop here until level 425. And after that, next stop, the Underwater City. There you go, same here guys. The target is Fishman Lord. So we're gonna do wall strat here. So obviously if you use Exis skill, you will go inside. You just need to lure it again. We're gonna do server hop until level 500. So guys, once you reach the Yeti, everything is server hop. For the stats, melee and defense 250, block fruits 1000. Moving forward, next up the Skylands. So here our target is the Whisperer. So guys, very easy stone strat. He cannot damage you here with his bazooka. And check this out, shout out to Blue underscore Hawaii. At first I thought it is a bounty hunter. I accidentally hit him. So there you go. But instead, he lured the enemy and helped me defeat the Whisperer. So bro, shout out to you. Not everyone is a bounty hunter here. Faith in humanity restored. Anyway, our target level here is level 625. There you go, we're gonna skip, uh, what do you call this, the Thunder God because he's so far away from the spawn point and the quest giver. Here are our stats. Don't forget to buy the Observation Hockey because we're going to need that in the succeeding islands. So next up, Fountain City. Target is the Gully Pirates. It's kinda hard at first. So guys, you need to dodge a lot of times. Check this out. But once you unlock the Fire Shower, the Sea Skill, everything will be easier. Check that damage out. Just two Z skills and one C skill, and that's enough to burst them. Target level here is level 775. For the stats, here it is. 400 melee defense, blocks fruits 1525. Don't forget to do the prison quest, and after that, head to the middle town. And guys, we are going to the second C. Guys, do you want to watch a Sea Beast vs. Dragon form? Better watch out for it. Okay. So let's continue grinding. First stop, the Swan Pirates. So guys, we're gonna grind here and skip lots and lots of mobs. But don't worry, this is the fastest way to grind. Target level here is level 925. After that, green zone. Target is Fajita. We're gonna defeat him and start doing server hop until we reach level 1000. And at level 1000, yes guys, we're gonna try and defeat a Sea Beast. But I want you to take note that we haven't unlocked the transformation yet. But I think this is enough to defeat the Sea Beast. So let's find out. Oh, there you go. Finally, we found a Sea Beast. So let's use our Z scale first. Z scale maybe, guys. And I doubt that we can damage him using the Dragonic Claw. Yep, no damage, guys. Again, no damage for the X skill. There you go. We need a boat here, guys. While waiting for the pull. Oh, guys, check that damage out. That's really high. <laughs> oh, we need to put more stats on the defense. Guys, I think we're losing here. Okay. Okay, cool down. Let's attack him. What? No! No! <laughs> we need to get stronger. So let's head to the snow mountains and defeat snow troopers. So guys, you only need one C skill and two Z skills to burst them, which means grinding here will be easy. Target level is level 1150. And next up is the hot and cold. So our target here is the smoke admiral. And finally, we've unlocked the transformation, guys. So are we ready to defeat the sea beast? I think not yet. We need to increase our defense. So we need to lure it outside, the smoke admiral, so we can use our transformation. Let's check the skills. Let's head outside. There you go. Transformation really looks cool. This is the X skill. The damage is really good. The Z skill and the C skill. Wait, there you go. Guys, for the X skill, the Dragonic Claw in transformed version, guys, it is AoE or multi-target, which is really good. But guys, if you're gonna ask me, beating Smoke Admiral, I suggest using the human form. Yes, it is better. So again guys, we're gonna do server hop here until we reach level 1250. So I'm gonna show you the stats. Defense 850, melee 500, max blacks fruits. Okay, so now oh, we got the, what do you call this, GTA. Next island is the cursed ship. 
So here guys, it's very easy. We're just gonna do wall strat on the ship deckhands. Guys, we're just gonna focus on this mob, okay? Because uh, there is a wall strat which means grinding is easier. No more dodging and dodging, okay? Target level here is level 1350. And after that, Ice Castle. So guys, I decided to defeat Asibis at level 1500. First, let's focus on the Arctic Warriors. Guys, if you're grinding like this one, you cannot always use the Dragon Form. So I suggest use uh, the Human Form. Just two C-Skills and one Z-Skill is enough to burst them. There you go. At 1400, you can start defeating the Awakened Ice Admiral. So I suggest beating this one and start doing server hop. Because again, Dragon Fruit is not a Logia or Elemental Fruit. Usually, we rely on mobs to grind levels, right? But if you're using a, a Zohan type or Paramecia type of fruit, for me, grinding bosses is the best approach, okay? So Gamer Rome, what is our target level here? We're gonna do server hop until you reach level 1475. So last 25 levels before we try and beat a sea beast with the transformation. So guys, are you ready with that? <laughs> okay. So at 1475, here are the stats. Defense 1375, Mox Black Fruits. Next up, Forgotten Island. Guys, our target here is the Tide Keeper, the boss. In this island. Last 25 levels before we reach 1-5, we get to the third C. But before that, again, we're gonna defeat a sea beast. We're gonna try. <laughs> now, I'm not that confident because we got beaten by a sea beast a while ago. Okay, so last one level. Oh, guys, there's a sea beast. We will use this as a warm up. Let's check it out. Guys, this sea beast is a lot easier, right? Compared to the normal sea beasts. So after beating this one, we are going to look for the real one. <laughs> Our Fury Meter. Oh, Dragon Form is almost out. But don't worry guys, I think the Human Form is enough to defeat this one. Oh, oh. One more C skill, I think. Uh. There you go. Okay, that's it. Now time to find a real one. So guys, first let's try it with the Human Form. We have more defense now, we can tank the damage. There you go. Z skill. And we also have more dodges on the observation hockey. So I think we're good. Okay, so far so good. Dragon form. Let's check the damage of the Z skill. <laughs> Z skill. X skill. Now we can damage him with the C skill. Another C skill. There you go. But guys, check that out. Our fury meter. It's almost down. Sea Beast, half HP. Oh no. One more Sea Skill. Bye bye, Dragon Form. Ah, our HP. Guys, Human Form, can we do this? I'm gonna try my best. Z Skill, dodge, 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 dodge. Okay, Z Skill. Ah, guys, our HP. <laughs> One more C-Skill, guys. Please, please. Uh... Guys, one more hit. We're gonna time our dodge, okay? Okay. Guys, we're gonna die. Check that dodge out. One more C-Skill, okay. So guys, we were able to beat a sea beast. <laughs> Finally, we're gonna do the Coliseum quest. And head to the green zone. Look for Mr. Captain. And he will send you to the third sea. So guys, finally, third sea. We're gonna go straight to the pirate millionaire. Guys, we're gonna skip lots of quests. The pistol billionaire, stone, all mobs in the Hydra Island. Yes. Guys, we're gonna grind here until you reach level 1675. There you go. Again, we're gonna skip lots of mobs. Here are the stats. So at the Hydra Island, our target here is only one mob. The Island Empress. Again, we're gonna server hop here, but first, technique is the wall strat. Guys, remember the prison bosses, Warden Chief, Warden and Swan, or the Fishman Lord. Our technique is still working in the third sea. 
there you go guys we're gonna do server up here until you reach level 1750 check this out guys he asked for pvp he's using a soul guitar <laughs> i got destroyed really hard <laughs> there you go i think he's also a dragon fruit user also he has good combat check that out so bro shout out to you you're really good 